a moment. Is that love, affection, support, motivation, or being selfish? Welcome to Parenting Essentials for this week. This is the home of key strategies to parenting. You are welcome. On today's episode, I'll be talking about selfish parents. It is high time we stopped and checked if we are caring parents or a selfish parent. What are the signs of a selfish parent? Let me go to those who waited before having their children because it's commonly seen. Oh no, I can't do that to my child. I waited for 20 years before I had her. I waited for 15 years before I got my baby. So, in the name of love and affection, you end up raising a very, very spoiled brat. No manners, no boundaries, because you want to give it all. I waited. That is not love, but simply being selfish. So, Mommies that waited like me before having their children to do that. Number two point that I would like to talk about today is not ready to accept that your child needs help. I know we love our children. I know we are positive people. I am a very positive person. I don't want any ne negativity around me. However, if a child needs help, if a child is facing a particular challenge on an area, it is our duty as parents to acknowledge the challenge and find a solution. I have seen this over and again, especially as a teacher. When you have meetings with some parents whom children need attention, and the truth is, as a teacher, you can't do it alone. There's some things that you have to do alongside, not even some things. You have to do most of the things or all things that for the growth of the child together with the parent. So, you have to call the parent. This is what you've noticed, but there's no cause for alarm. But we can work hand in hand. Some parents are, am I going to say that is overprotective or they are very defensive? They will come like, no, no, my child is okay. What do you mean? And everything. Then you tend to keep quiet they can actually see the problem but they feel it's love i have to love my child i can't say that to my child so they are not giving attention they are not looking for solution i love my child at the end of the day it will turn to be a big problem so if you are a, if you are a mother that does not like to admit a challenge in the life of your child stop doing that let's check if there's any challenge, it's just a challenge. All we need to do is to do our part and everything will be fine. Don't be in denial. My child is okay. Nobody says your child is not okay. Your child is perfect. Yes, your child is your child and you love your child. I love my children also. But if you're getting a professional help or if you can see by yourself that there's something what that is not going on right, but you feel it's love for you to just overlook that. You feel it's love for you to just, okay, I just keep quiet. It is being selfish. That is not love. Please acknowledge the challenge in the life of your child and look for solution immediately. And don't forget, especially those who are on the spectrum, early intervention is the key. You can see the handwriting is there on the wall. Your child is having issues with walking. The child is already too not working. So no, 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 I don't need the therapy. I don't need the doctor. I love my child. Nobody says you don't love your child. Get help. Don't be a selfish parent. Your child is five and not saying a word. No, 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 no. Your child is two and not blabbing. Your child is one and not blabbing, not trying to call mom, dad, trying to join words together. And you say, no, it's okay, it's okay. I love my child. The word I love my child is should be on the line. 
We all love our children. I love PMP so very much. Yet, if I see any sign that this is a challenge, I quickly acknowledge it and look for solution. And every mother should do the same. Don't be in denial. In the name of being under the umbrella of, I love my child. Come on, mommy, stop that. Daddies, don't do that. We all love our children. Number three point I'm going to be talking about today that, that is a continuation from number two is it's okay. I was like that when I was growing up. I was just like that. I made a video on selfish parent about two years ago on selfish parent and the points are very elaborate. So you can just go ahead and check that out on our YouTube channel. It's around two years ago, selfish parent on this particular point. Like, it's okay, I was like that when I was growing up. And this is a very common mistake in parenting. And I see it as a big act of selfishness. Some of the examples of what I'm saying are, it's okay, I didn't say a word until I was around five years. So my child is only three. So why are you worked up? Sorry, please, my child is okay. Don't, you know, and for me, <laughs> I'm just going to use myself as an example on this particular issue. I love children. I love children so much. And I'm the type that I cannot see and keep quiet. I'm really trying for God to help me on this issue. But why can I keep quiet when I see a danger or something that can be a, a very bad thing in the life of a child? So I just want, because I'm a mother to all, I see myself as a mother to all. I want the best for my children. I want people to help my children around the world. And I, I can see that this is a very dangerous thing. I get to talk, and but some parents are not taking it lightly. Like, no, 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 what do you mean? So please don't let us be selfish. Even you as a parent should know when something is wrong. You should know that this is not right. The fact that you suffer a particular challenge as a child doesn't mean your child has to go through the same. A seven years old child is sucking fingers and all you can tell is, no, 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 I don't need to walk myself up. I was sucking to like around 10. Even 15 years I was still sucking with pride. You see some parents saying it with pride. It is not love. It is being selfish. So the fact that you have issues, challenges, as a child, means your child has to go through the same? No. So I employ every mother, every father who is seeing this video right now to change our thinking. You know, it's, it's something that is registered in the brain. It's okay. I was like that growing up. I sucked my fingers. I was doing that. A lot of things you're doing and you think when your child is doing them, it's okay. It is not okay. The only thing I can say to you right now is you've been selfish. You've been a selfish parent. Yes, you. I said to myself a long time ago that I don't want to be a selfish parent. Anytime I see any trait of any particular challenge that I went through as a child in the life of my children, I immediately acknowledge it. No, this is it. I don't want that. I try as much as possible to do what I can do to correct my child, to encourage and do everything. Another thing, I'm a believer of God. I take it up in prayers. The fact that I suffer this, my child must not. I believe God so much. I live for God. Every step of my life is for God. And I believe in the power of prayers. So if you do also believe in the power of prayers, so you can take these challenges back to God. My child doesn't have to go through the same Thing I went through. So our children should be a better version of us. My children are going to be a better version of me. So I'm saying it to you. So you have to say it to yourself that your children must be a better version of you. I'm going to just call it a day for today. And before I go, don't forget, it is time for you to check yourself to ensure that you are not a selfish parent. Thank you for always stopping by. Thank you for joining me on today's episode. And if you're new here, my name is Oye. 
I am Hoye Layo, and I am your parenting coach, and I come your way every Saturday on Parenting Essentials, and all our videos are available on our YouTube channel. We have lovely kids already on our YouTube channel, and we have more kids coming on, and we have Keeping It Real with PMP. So, if you have not subscribed, we wouldn't want you to miss out. Kindly consider clicking the button, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime we drop new videos. Thank you once again, and I remind myself, Oi, lie out, and I love you. Bye for now.